What up guys, Jerry K. Dream Mode, and today I am going to repaint a new figure. We got Mr. Optimus Prime. This is Power of Prime. This is Optimus Prime right here. He's a badass figure and finally got him. Now, this is what I've been doing to all of them. And I've been repainting them and I'm loving the way they look. I mean, he's already badass, but repainting him and giving him some wear and some 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 uh, black wash over him it's gonna add way more details and some of y'all might be thinking you're crazy you're gonna be painting this figure but i mean he's he's badass but i like i like how how they come out when i repaint them so i'm gonna do that to this guy today and <clears throat> if you guys want to find out my methods go to the bumblebee video because i actually go um through the, the materials that I'm gonna be using to do this. So so let's get to it guys, all right? So because this version Optimus Prime, he, he's actually two pieces. So for me to start preparing him, I have to open up everything to make sure I get it into every little section of, of this toy. Start, I'm gonna start with a black wash right now. So these guys are you know, I already washed them. I'm gonna add something new and there's this matte varnish can, right? This is mostly meant to uh it's it's like a way to protect the acrylic, but it gives it a matte finish, not a gloss. So I'm gonna use this to protect the black. I already sprayed it with the the matte varnish and I wanna I want I hope I can record this but if you look at it the shine of the original plastic is gone so now everything looks matted and it has a texture it looks rough so this is great because now when I'm gonna go dry brush it with a uh, silver metallic paint it's gonna grab onto these pieces and really stick to to the edges of, of the shapes of these pieces. See, I'm adding the wear on the edges of the metal. Even the paint looks scratched. It looks scratched, looks old. Ooh, it needs a car wash. <laughs> Cool thing about painting with acrylics is that it's a lot more forgiving so right here I'm doing a combination of two things it's dry brushing but then it's also reverse dry brushing and what I mean by that is I'll get a little bit of metallic paint and I'll paint a surface and right, so this area right here okay it's a, it's a clean coat it has a black wash but it also has a matte finish with this little bit of silver now I'm kind of I'm going overboard on purpose to show you guys I mean it looks nice regardless like look at all that detail oh dry brushing is awesome uh, but it's right here I'm I'm gonna go overboard with it right so what I do now is that I get a, a q-tip with some rubbing alcohol and I'm able to pull away 
anything that I don't want. So in case if I think this is a bit excessive, even if it's even if this is dry already, you can still pull away with the rubbing alcohol. See this area right here is too, too much right here. So now I'm pulling it off. Look at that. So I'm doing a combination of these two things. I'll, I'll put a bit of dry brush and then I'll go over it, look at it, and then pull up, pull off some more if I feel like it's too much. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Look at all that scuffle. Yeah, it makes it look a lot more realistic. But but again, it depends on, on the person. I mean, some people like this whole, like, just simple, flat look where others want to see all this detail. Like, look at that. So, yeah, I'm going to go and do it to the rest of him and finish him. Final touch, some resin, you can use some gloss as well. Alrighty, so here's the build. Um, I skipped showing you guys the the truck mode. Um, he's for this version of Optimus Prime is it's not my favorite him as a truck mode, but I do love Ryan Pack, and the cool part about him is that not only is he he's the truck and then he that's the that's the trailer. So then when you transform the truck, it turns into Orion Pax. And then to get Optimus Prime, you gotta turn him, you gotta transform him again. In full form, Optimus Prime. Generation one and I love this build. I really love how he looks so authentic to the G1. He's probably my favorite out of the Power of Primes. <clears throat> and now that I repainted him, I'm loving this. I'm really, really loving this figure. Remember, you could do this not only to, um, not only to a transform, but to any figure. As well, so that's it. This is Optimus Prime Power of Prime G One, and it was a fun, fun project repainting him. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to write a comment, like, and please subscribe. 
Later, guys. I'm all the way up. All the way up.